But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. All right. Well, soon you are going to have a lot of halal fun. Uh, peace of the Lord to all of you and no peace for the wicked one, the Lord said. Uh, today we have the news from, uh, you know, uh, uh, Syria, not Jordan, as uh, the White House said. The White House don't even know where the attack happened on the, our troops. To the point they say it is in the north of Jordan, when in the fact it is in Syria. Uh, I will play a little bit of a news. You know, this is from Fox News. And uh, let us see what they are saying. You know, they are saying that Democrat and Republican can work together on war authorization. What they are talking about, let us see. Holt communication strategies, Terry Holt and Brownstein Hyatt Farber Shrek policy director, Drew Littman. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello, thank you. So it's political season, but then world events have stepped in here. Your response to the news of the day, three Americans killed in a drone attack. A tragic loss for the country, a, a, a situation that we <clears throat> knew would probably happen with our forces so on the knife edge in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to our leaders in this country to come together and to pass some sort of bipartisan war authorization so that this president can have all the tools at his disposal to fight off this Iran-backed uh, attack. Drew, your thoughts? Well, I think we do need a new authorization, authorization for the use of military force, AUMF. Senator Kane, as you mentioned, talks about this frequently. This is a moment when you can have Democrats and Republicans working together. I don't know why there would be any partisan difference. Members of Congress tend to feel strongly about their prerogatives. It you know, here you notice they are talking about something very funny. They are talking about if we can join uh, parties together. This is about uh, American soldiers. Who care about your party now? This is how stupid this country become. Same time, the president, he do not need authorization to do an attack. He need an authorization only if you want to wage war. Are you waging war? You will not. Uh, so here now, the news, which is obviously, uh, you know, uh, Iran and Hezbollah, they don't really care what America is about. They don't fear America no more. And the reason, you know, the reason, there is many reasons. You know, this is not only about Biden. Trump, he did the same. You know, Trump, when he was a president, he killed Qasem Soleimani. Okay, amazing. He killed the guy. And then they start, you know, shitting us our bases. And exact the same number, almost 25 soldiers at that time, heavily wounded, you know, like they say they are like uh, just a brain injury, etc. But obviously there is there is injury, you know, and later it turned to be that this is a real injury, not a not not a joke. Uh, what Trump, he did nothing. Trump, he did not retaliate. The Iranian at that time, too, they shot an American drone cost more than a billion dollar. What Trump he did? Nothing. Totally nothing. The Iranian Hezbollah, they attack our bases in Syria and Iraq many, many times during Trump. What did Trump did? No, nothing. So don't think this is just about the potato Biden. Both of them, they were potatoes. All what they care for is to win the election. They don't care for the country. They don't care how many of your kids die. All what they want because they knew waging war is not good for election. That's all. So they don't care really for protecting your children from the attack of those filthy Hezbollah and Iran. All what they care for, both of them, Trump and Biden, and whoever going to come after, is how to win an election. 
So now, at that time, Trump, he said, oh, they just cause injury. If they kill somebody, I will respond. You are right. Does it make a difference, really? They just attack you. Is imagine somebody throw fire at your home and you don't respond. That means what? They can, they can fire again. And they did it again. And they did it again. So they did not, they were not able to, to harm because, you know, uh, 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 they were not using the same tactic. Now they are using now a drone. So when they shoot a missile, the alarm hit, the soldiers hide, and then the bomb hit an empty space or let us say a building which is empty. But now what they did today, they send a drone and obviously you see the number when they see three, when they say three, got killed and 25 injured. I think the number will increase. Three are dead immediately. And it might be a drone which is a suicide drone, not, not uh, you know, like not normal drones, though, though they send, the, they, they throw a bomb. Regardless what it is, those potatoes in the White House and those who they are Democrat or Republican, both of them, they are a bunch of cowards. This is not, this is not about Democrat and Republican, both they are cowards. Trump, when he was in the office, he did nothing. Biden, just, just the last month, they did hit us 39 times. 39, which means more than once a day. Why they are hitting nonstop? Because the respond is a response of a sissy person. Like what we do, we throw sandal on them. When we know that the American army is a very powerful, and they can respond in a massive way. And actually Biden now, if he is little smart, if he have little intelligence, this is his opportunity to fix his reputation, that he is a man, he is a leader, and do something serious. American generals, they can do nothing. You see, at the end of the day, generals, they do the command of the politician. USA generals, they can do nothing of their own. It doesn't matter how much power you have in the army, you are nobody. You are nobody. You cannot make give command. Generals in the army, they can make command to defend themselves in the spot, but they cannot launch a big attack. <clears throat> so Iran, Notice that, okay, Trump, Biden, it doesn't matter. All of them, they are potatoes. We hit them, they do nothing. Al-Houthi, he was attacking American ship for the last three months. Finally, they respond by very, what, like it's kind of a watermelon attack. To the point, Al-Houthi, they are dancing in the street. You know, there's nothing happened really. So what, what the American attack was on them? Nothing. This time, if Biden, he want to fix his reputation from a person who is a potato, a stupid idiot, who do not remember his name, he had, he had a great opportunity to make himself look like a real leader. And now if they launch an attack and they hit a, a warehouse here and a warehouse there, that will be laughable. The attack should be massive. The attack should be so powerful. The attack should be the kind which will make them regret and think 100 times, not only twice, before they attack USA Army again. Here in the news, they are talking about Democrat or Republican now they can authorize the president. What are you talking about, silly people? Even this one, we have to disagree about it or agree? It would be ideal if before there are further hostilities, before more American lives are risked, we had that kind of consensus which the entire country can observe. Is this a situation where the commander in chief should address the nation from the Oval Office? 
It is if we're getting ready to go to war with Iran, um, if they're going to present a policy proposal for Give attacking the Iranian-backed rebels in their places of interest, then maybe not. But if the president is going to attack the mainland of Iran, I would think he wanted to talk to the nation and he would want to rally Republican support around that kind of a decision. Drew, what about that? Who think, who think what this guy is saying is going to happen? That Biden, he will make an attack on Iran. Who of you believe such a thing would happen? Anyone believe it? What those people are talking about? This is a fiction story. I mean, those guys are attacking us for the last eight years, 10 years. In fact, Hezbollah killed 200 Marines since the time of Reagan. 200 Marines killed by, by Hezbollah. And until now, USA did not make them pay for it. 200 Marines in one day. They did totally nothing. In, in fact, they withdrew from Lebanon. So president after president, you know, they have weapon to attack Serbia. They have airplane to invade Serbia. They have Marines to defend Kuwait. They have, they have everything. When it's come to Iran and Hezbollah, they have nothing. They have a flat tire. They joined forces with the Muslims to defend the Muslims in Bosnia, and they killed thousands of Christians. Bill Clinton was having sex with Monica Lewinsky, and our army was killing the Christians in Serbia. Hezbollah, non-stop, not even a single day, stop attacking USA base. And imagine you are an American soldier, and you know that your army is a very powerful army, and then every day they hit you, and the command says, don't respond. How disappointed it is to be an American soldier. Tell Trump will make billions of dollars if he attack Iran. You see, Trump, when he went for election, he promised that he will not go for war. So he wanted to keep his promise. And he was proud that he is the first president who did not go to war since many, many years. But in fact, Trump is just an idiot as the rest. He attacked, you know, he killed the Qasem Soleimani and he was so proud of it. But then he did not do anything else. That's it. The Iranian, they keep attacking, attacking, attacking. And, you know, they, you know, the Iranian, they are smart. They are not stupid. They knew that this country is very much divided. They cannot even protect their border. They cannot even agree about a border. You know, they can't agree about a fence for every country in the world. Every country. It doesn't matter how stupid they are. They agree that borders should be protected, except in the stupid American government. Hezbollah and Iran, give them, give them a reason to stop attacking the, the American army. Give them a reason. There is no reason. There is no reason. They are act, acting like a bunch of girls going in a fight, pulling the hair of each other, wearing high heels. We are responding to those people as if we are, you know, nobody. I mean, we don't have an army. I mean, I don't know if how many of you here been in the U.S. Army. We have the most scary army ever. You know, when I was in the training, the first thing I like, I, I was the first thing I asked myself, if the earth is shaking here for shooting from here to there. So what happened there? We have bombs, nobody have. We have airplane, nobody have. We have missile, we have satellite, we have the drones, nobody have. 
So what is exactly holding us when we have what nobody has? The whole world buy from us. Even Turkey, just today, they approved the filthy Turkish army to buy 80 airplanes from USA. Erdogan, he's so proud that he can make weapons, but yet he is going to buy our airplanes. This is how strong his defense industry is. If we go to Hezbollah website right now, let us see what they will say. I want to see what they are saying. And you believe it or not, the American until now, they did not. Even shut down the website of Hezbollah. Imagine we own the internet. We own the internet. We suspend the account of Trump. He was a president. But their websites is running and nobody will close it down. The same as Hamas. This is the website of Hezbollah. In the top it says, Let me, I will use Google Translation to translate for you. And here, a statement issued by the resistance regarding, uh, let us see, regarding what? Ah. Statement issued by Islamic resistance regarding targeting the area is called Khurbat Mar. I don't know exactly where is that in the border, but here we go. It's in the front of you. So their website is functioning. They have they they have news and everything is uh, is fine. They have party, and we can't even shut down their their website. Do you see how powerful the American? They have time to censor our videos in YouTube. They have time to censor you in Twitter if you say a statement. But the biggest organization of terrorism, their website is up and running. And not only that, they have account in Twitter. They have accounts in Facebook. They have accounts everywhere, Telegram, anywhere, anywhere you go. None of them is shut down. All of this, those people have been party, you know? Like they don't care about anything you are talking about. So now what Hezbollah waiting for? I will tell you, Biden, he will go and he will tell them, okay, open the map for me. All right, all right. Okay. Mm. Let us open the map together. All right. Let us see. So based on the map, this is the American bases in Syria. Let us share with you. Let us open it first before we go. Give me a second. Here we go.
Here you will notice with me that all north of Syria, which where the oil is located, is controlled by the Kurdish, which means the American. So the American already actually they are they, they are controlling almost maybe if I say maybe thirty five percent of the country. I'm not exaggerating. The rest of the country. Let us open the the draw software. And zoom out a little bit. All right. <clears throat> if you look with me here, this area. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I need to move a little bit. Actually, it's. It, I need to find different map. Hold on, give me a second because this one doesn't show where the attack really happened. But before we go, we can use this one for now. This area here actually is controlled by the Turkish, by the filthy Erdogan and his terrorist groups. This area here, the one in brown, all of it is controlled by the Kurdish and the American. The rest of Syria is controlled by the Russian and the Iranian. Now let us find the front map, better one. <clears throat> Give me a minute. All right, this one is better map. Let us use it. Perfect. As you see here in the screen where it says tenth or tenth. Do you see it? Let me put a line underneath of it, or maybe an arrow. <clears throat> this is a tenth. This is where the attack happened. In the White House website, they said the attack happened in Jordan, but the donkey Biden, obviously, he is not aware anything about about what what, uh, what what those names mean this is not inside Jordan and have nothing to do with Jordan this is inside Syria it is even few kilometers away far from the Jordanian border here it says it counting for you the attack happened on American bases since October 7 so here actually they are saying 52 attack. I thought they are 39. So I'm wrong. 52 attacks on USA military forces since October 7. Ah, here they are counting the ones that attack in Iraq, including Syria. So 39 in Syria, 52 as total in Syria and Iraq. And enter now. They will do, like, do you think tomorrow they will not do an attack? They will do. Because they notice that this government, this country, this administration will not do anything. 
And again, this is not only about Trump, about, about Biden. Trump, he, he did the same exactly. They encouraged them. They encouraged them to do attack more. Because each time they attack, you know, when the, when the Iranian, if, if you remember in the time of Obama, who remember? The Iranian, they even capture an American warship. They capture it. And Obama refused to give the American command to shoot at them and prevent them from taking over the ship. So what happened? The Iranian, they captured all the American soldiers and they took them inside Iran. This is real. This has happened every year. So the Iranian, they have long history of spanking the American and the American doing nothing. So why they will stop? From the time of George Bush, from the time of Reagan, in the time of Reagan, they killed 200 Marines in one hour by car explosion. So a side bomber. What the American did? They put their tail between their legs and they, they left. That's it. Until now, we did not make them pay for the 200 Marines. So why does Hezbollah, they're even going to respect America? Give them a reason. Those people don't respect, those people fear. They don't know what respect is. Either you fear them or you don't. Look how shameful it is, those pictures. Look at this. Look how shameful. Who accept this to his army? You tell me. Those are American soldiers going down in their knee. Captured by the Iranian. And for sure, the Iranian they were so proud. Why not? I mean, they should be proud of it. This is the most powerful army in the world. We captured their men and they did nothing. <laughs> they made fun of them. They mocked them walk in the street with, 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 with bags on their head. Look at this. They tied them up with ropes. <laughs> what the American did? I mean, this alone is enough to wage war for it. This scenery alone is enough to wage war for it. What Obama did? He went to watch a movie, the same as a Trump he did, the same as Joe Biden he did, the same as Reagan he did, the same as every stupid so-called president of this country did. Do you see how much your government don't respect you? They only want to take your tax. They only want to take your freedom. They are busy putting sign on the bathroom if somebody is a transgender or not. This is what they are busy about. But when the enemy mock us, capture us, kill our children, they do totally nothing. When you see this, what you what you can say? You feel like you want to spit at Obama, you want to spit at Trump, you want to spit at George Bush, you want to spit at everyone so-called president who was a president in this country. If an American soldier, he see those pictures, 
why in the world he is going to serve in this army anymore? And then what? And then the Iranian, they start negotiating and you have to pay us to release them. I mean, they know that you will not go for war. They knew that your leaders are a bunch of potato. They knew they are busy with uh, lesbian and uh, homosexuality and how we can forbid the Bible and how we can take a cross from the park because it's offensive for non-believers. And they knew that they have a Biden who called Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They knew. They knew exactly what kind of a scumbags we have in this government. Trust me, they knew. They are doing what they are doing because they knew very well what we have. They knew that our army is very powerful. But those poor kids in the army, they can't even shoot a bullet without command. You know that, right? They cannot shoot a bullet back unless they receive a command. Even they force them to wear Islamic clothing. They force them to fast in Ramadan. I'm not joking. They even down a drone and they took it. This is an American drone. Like, at least the Americans should go and destroy it so those people will not copy our secret. No, they let them have it. This is our drone. And they put it in the street to show everybody what we can do to America. So the Iranian, they have history of mocking USA. And me, myself, I don't blame them. They are just a bunch of savage terrorists. And there is an American leaders, they are a bunch of potatoes. All what they care for is just how to win the election. This year is an election year. Which means we can attack American, we can kill American, we can kidnap American, and the American president, he will not do anything because simply, he just want to win the election. He don't care what how many of your kids die. None of them is his kids. None of them. So the attack will continue. And the mockery will continue. And you can, uh, you know, who, who want to bet with me that Biden, he is going to attack a few bases, throw some rocks, claiming that he respond. You see those guys in Fox News, they are talking about waging war and all this. Uh, who, who in the world want to believe what you are talking about? Waging war, who? Biden, he will wage a war? Are you serious? Well, I think that would be highly useful. I think it's also important that the president help people understand this started with the Hamas attack in Israel on October 7th, funded by Iran. This is the latest stage. This was an attack not on soldiers in the battlefield. It was an attack on living quarters on a base. No one's prepared to fight in that, in that sequence. This is more like terrorism than war. People need to understand that these things are connected, and that's what we're responding to. Okay, let's put on the screen a tweet from Speaker Mike Johnson. I'll get you guys to react to it. He says, quote, we are saddened by the loss of three American heroes in Jordan last night, and we are praying for their families and for the 25 other service members who have been injured. America must send a crystal clear message across the globe that attacks on our troops will not be tolerated. Now, I like this guy, by the way. The first thing he did when he took the job, he started quoting the Bible. The first sentence, actually, he said, when he took the job as a Speaker of the House, he quoted the Bible. But we want something, proof 
that we are really people who stand for what we say. This attack will not be tolerated. What does that mean? Are you going to attack Hezbollah and kill three of them in return of killing three of us? Those people, they have no value for their people. Even if you kill a hundred of them, they have no value for their children. They believe that if their child, he goes and he die, Allah will make his penis endless and he will be, excuse my language, he will be effing a lot of women, Muslim women in heaven who their legs is open. This is what they believe. And each one of them, he have 40, 60 kids. So he give 10, uh, 10 kids for war. So what? Not, not a big deal. So the penalty should not be attacking a few bases here and there. It should be wiping the floor with them. Burning every base they have. You shall not stop until there's nothing left to burn. And this is how you can teach your enemy not to attack you again. <clears throat> Somebody saying this is all is a deep uh, state want. My friend, you know, I don't want to be rude with you, but don't be naive and don't be silly. Anything happen in the world, anyone fought, they claim this is a deep state. So now Hezbollah is working from the deep state. Hezbollah, my friend, is a very, very, very hateful organization who hate every single one of you. And if any of those you call them deep state appear in their ass, they will smash him. But this is the funny thing about many American. They love conspiracy. It's all prepared. So the deep state, they call Nasrallah, taranam, taranam. Assalamu alaikum, Nasrallah. Who's talking? The deep state from USA. Hey, brother, how you doing? What's up? I want you to attack today our base and kill three soldiers. Ah, uh -huh. sure, sure. Because we want to attack you back. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Are you going to kill my son as what happened in 20 years ago? I mean, do you see how silly some people are? All of this is set up. 9-11 is set up. Everything is set up. I mean, everything. They have, they love conspiracy. Did you see the big foot in the back of your yard? My ramble? I'm sure you see him every day. Well, my friend, I am from the Middle East. And I know very well what they teach their kids since they are six years old. This is not a joke, my friend. This is not about deep state and your stupidity. This is about those people, they want to kill you all. Stop your stupidity, deep state. I can accept your deep state about who is going to be president, who is going to lead, manufacture business, uh, war, make money. But this is not even, as you see, the, the deep state, stupid deep state, don't want to have war. Aren't you listening what we're complaining about? Are you listening? The problem, they are not doing war. So if they want to create war, they do not need to wait until now. Those people are attacking us every day for the last 20 years. <laughs> people are really funny. We know about Syria more than you do, and you have no idea what are you talking about. Every country in the world is involved in the war in Syria. And this is very normal. But don't be stupid. Those are religiously motivated, not money. So your stupidity is calculated by money. For them, it's not about money. For them, it's about God and religion and victory and jihad and killing the infidels. For them, all of you are the same. You are Republican, you are Democrat, you are a Jew, you are a Christian, you are a Hindu, you are an atheist. It doesn't matter. They want to kill you all. For them, they are like dogs. Dogs don't see black and white. They don't see color. They see black and white.
So those people who love conspiracy, when 9-11 happened, Osama bin Laden, he made videos, his man, his, his, his brother-in-law, his son-in-law, his family, I mean, all of them, they make videos, victory, Muslim dancing in the street, all of this is behind the CIA. You, you remember when uh, we played for you the KGB video? Speaking how we bro brainwashed and we destroy America? Those are the Americans he's talking about. Stupid people. It doesn't matter how much you show them evidence, they are still in denial. They have to believe in a conspiracy. They love conspiracy. They killed the three soldiers of us, it is the deep state behind it. They killed the 3,000 of us, it is the deep state behind it. Yeah, yeah, United States is working with those group. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I was, stupidity is really amazing. The only one I can say he worked with those people is Obama. Obama, he is a Muslim Shia, so it is still about religion. So he protected Iran, he supported Iran, he left sanctions on Iran, he gave money to Iran, he did everything he can to serve Iran as long as he's a president. Otherwise, all the garbage you are talking about is just a stupid. It's just a sign of his stupidity. In fact, we are the one who's asking for war, and they are the one who is doing nothing. Why? Because the deep state you are talking about it, you idiot. What about Trump? He was not a deep state. With Trump, he don't want to go to war. Reagan don't want to go to war. Every one of them don't go to war. The only time they go to war when you offer them a lot of an investment like Kuwait, war in Iraq, otherwise they don't go to war. But here is it's about American soldiers getting killed. Why? Because the leadership we have is a bunch of potatoes. All what they care for is election. They can't even protect the borders. United States president is bought and sold. Okay, here we go. We put him in eBay and he's sold. And what does that mean? I mean, how stupid you are. Who is the one who bought him? Iran? Are you stupid or what? So Hezbollah, they bought the president of USA, who just a few weeks ago, he killed the leader of Hezbollah in Iraq. So they paid him money so they can kill the guy. And uh, Hezbollah, they bought Trump so he can kill Qas uh, Qasim Soleimani? Are you sure? Let me make it more to work for you. I think Hamas, they paid Netanyahu so he can allow them to go inside because he gave them ticket, like every ticket for $10,000. So they can go inside the border and they kill the, the, they kill the Jews. Yeah, yeah, let us continue. Uh-huh. So everybody bought everybody. I mean, those are the stupid people who they, they have their own politics in the world. My ramble, you are a stupid idiot. The military industrial complex, they support what I am saying. Those people are the opposite. They are not going for war, you donkey. The military complex, they want war. So if this is what's happening according to your theory, then they should go for war. So the stupid you keep saying, accusing the military complex, when in fact we are complaining that the military complex are not able to establish a war. We should respond. Am I the military complex for you? Don't get married. Because if you get married and your wife, she get a Britney, you will be in conspiracy. You will tell her who is the one who paid you so you can hug my sperm. Who's behind this? Tell me. You will hold your wife in the corner of the kitchen and you try to investigate with her. You tell me how you get a Britney from me. Who is behind this? Is it in the military complex? And then your wife, she might say to you, you idiot, who said that it's you are the father? It was the deep state. They put the sperm so deep. People are so stupid. 
we are complaining that what he called that the deep state is not responding and yet he's accusing the deep state that they are the one who want war but we are complaining they are not Iran attacking once after once after once after once they took a drone down they hit just last month how many American ships they've been hit in the Red Sea but they did nothing My ramble, don't forget to look at the back the backyard. You know, I think the book, the Bigfoot guy is in your, in, your, in your yard right now. Did you see him? Those are the people. If you say to them, the Bigfoot, I saw the Bigfoot, they will go and they will watch. And there's nothing there. I mean, there's somebody wearing uh, uh, like a uh, fur, those you buy them from, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Halloween party. And they said, you yeah, the Bigfoot in my, just tell them a spaceship was flying. Do you remember Monk? When those weirdo they thought Monk is a is an alien. Those are the people in USA. Just give them any conspiracy and they will make movies about it. Somebody was playing with the drone and they saw Monk in that area and right away Monk he become an alien. And because he moved his hand in a certain way, everybody start copying Monk. You remember? Yeah. A bunch of weirdo. Everything is possible. Anyway, so like in you know in the news they are talking about what they will do, but I think what they will do is going to be shameful. It's not going to fit with the crime is happening, and the American they are busy with the border. They are busy with homosexuality. They are busy with the sign in the bathroom. They are busy with everything stupid except something important. You know the first thing uh, Biden he when he came to the office he says. We are going to put the oil business out of business. And what that did, that made the Iranian rich, made the Russian richer, made all the Muslim richer, except the American. And inflation went so crazy because of that decision. Just today, Biden, he forbid exporting our gas abroad. And then you ask yourself, why in the world we are exporting gas in the same time we are buying gas? Oh, we have a lot of extra, so why you are buying from Qatar? Because they are stupid. Terry, how do you re respond to that? I think that that is a, a conditioned response that he would, he obviously is standing by the troops in the, in the, that are at, at, in harm's way. And he's also signaling that it's time to widen the conversation about what needs to be done in this war. That it's not just whack-a-mole with a few Houthis here and a few Iran-backed militias there. That we have a broader problem on our hands and that the president needs to use all of his authority and all of his powers, including under the War Powers Act, to go ahead and fight this battle as rigorously as he net. I think that Speaker Johnson is giving... Uh, uh, President Biden a, a green light to go as far as he needs to go. Congressman Mike Collins of Georgia asking the question, are we at war? Drew, your thoughts. At the moment, no. Potentially tomorrow or the next day, sure, that's possible. Things with Iran could be coming to a head. But one other thing I'd add is we have is an ally in Israel. We have an ally in Jordan. We need to consult with them also. Because you know, uh, Jordan is an ally. <laughs> That's one of the funny things, you know. 
the, the, the Jordanian army. <laughs> I mean, here you see the stupidity of those who they are. This guy is a congressman. This guy supposedly is a congressman. Yet you do not know that we do not need Jordan because we are controlling more than 40% of Syria, which means we have the land there and we have the army there. So who cares about Jordan? We have to consult with Jordan. Who is Jordan? The Jordan don't even have an army. They can't even afford to pay for the police. Their king, he wear high heels because he's so short. This is who is the king of Jordan. This is telling you that the one who is in the government are a bunch of stupid. Why in the world we need, we have a strong enemy in Jordan. What that Jordan would do? All the airplane, the Jordanian they have are our junk. It's a donation from USA. Anything became so old, we give it to Jordan, we give it to Egypt, we give it to those Muslim countries. It's a fact. Trump stood up for the Jewish people. Well, he stood up for Israel, yes, but he did not stood up for us. Trump, he was very good for the Jews, but he was not good for us. And I will tell you why. We just mentioned to you how the Iranian hit us many times during Trump. He did nothing. The same as Biden. They hit exactly like today. They hit an American base in Iraq. In fact, the Iranian, they said, we are going to hit your base two hours before. And they sent ground missiles and they injured exactly the same number as I remember, 25 soldiers. And then what Trump, he said, if there is one of them he died, then I will respond. Huh? Are you waiting until they kill us? Trump is the same. He was a president. He never attacked Iran. He never launched any attack on Iran. The only thing he did, he killed this guy, Qasmani, which is nobody. Nobody, he's nobody. He's a leader, who cares? You know, you kill him, they will replace him. There's a, there's a, there's a thousand people waiting for to take his position. I mean, who in the world can believe that there's a victory by killing a guy? He's nobody. So Biden and Trump, they gave the Iranian the courage to attack us nonstop. Not only Biden and Trump, Obama before them, uh, George Bush before them, all of them. As I mentioned, Hezbollah killed 200 Marines since the time of Reagan. What Reagan did? Nothing. In fact, he would draw. I'm not going against Trump. This is not against anybody. This is saying the truth. Why people, they cannot see that we are stating the truth. You see, if I am going against Trump the way you are saying it, that means I am making things up to be against Trump. I voted for Trump, and if you go for election, I will vote for him again, because we have no better person than him to stand against those idiots. But doesn't mean we don't say the truth. Why, when somebody say the truth, it's about against? Are we blind? When I say Trump, he did nothing. Well, prove me wrong. All what the Trump he did, he put sanctions. Thank you very much. Okay, that was a smart. But the Trump is the same dump who did not force the sanctions on Turkey. So look what happened now. If we go to the map, what happened? We made sanctions on Iran. Let us show the map so we can laugh together at the sanctions. The sanction is a very smart idea. And me, myself, I appreciate it very much. But the smart Trump, when he made the sanctions, he forgot that his friend Erdogan is a bunch of scumbag leader. 
So in fact, Erdogan, he took advantage of the sanctions and Erdogan got so rich because of it. So now we sanctions Iran, but Iran is buying everything they want at that time from Russia. We have no sanctions. We have no sanctions in Iraq. So what, what we did? Nothing. They still sell their oil. They still buy our weapon. They still buy and sell as you wish. How come Trump, like, is it possible that Trump and the CIA and the FBI and the, all the stupid agencies we have, they did not hear that the Iranian, they have a business hub in Emirat and in Qatar? They did not hear that a huge import happening from two and two four. So what the point of those sanctions? How come they go blind in, in Turkey? So my friend, all of them are a bunch of potatoes. They are even are laughing at the American sanctions, which is useless. They made sanctions on Russia, but Russia is still selling their oil. The same as before, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Their friend Moody, the best friend of, uh, you know, he is the one who is buying the oil of Russia. How come they don't put sanctions? So what the sanctions mean? The sanctions, if you buy from them, we will put penalty on you. So did you put penalty in India? No. In fact, they signed a lot of agreement with India. Uh, uh, Prime Minister, he was here just last year. Everybody knows that the Indian are enjoying the cheap price of the Russian oil. Where is your sanctions? So Trump sanctions, Biden sanctions is just a stupidity. In fact, the sanctions they do made Iran get powerful. And I will tell you why. You see, when you cannot buy certain object, because there are sanctions on you, it's very hard to bring it. So what they do, they start manufacturing those same object. So Iran, instead of using to buy, now they are making it. So now after 20, 30 years of sanctions, they don't buy it no more. They are developing with their own manufacturer and they are doing better job than what they used to do. 20. Actually, just yesterday, Iran launched a satellite. Just yesterday, right? So where is the sanctions? Do you know what satellite mean? How and where they are getting all the computer chips from? The very high tech. From where? Oh, we have sanctions. This is just yesterday. They launched two satellites. Let's see if this is about the satellite. Hold on. So here we go. This is about satellite. Yeah, this is the news about satellite. Let us see the date, just to be sure. This is the terrorist TV at Jazeera. Uh, this is from November 5th. Let us see the one which is in you. I think in November it was not successful, and now this one, it is successful. All right. Oh, really, I have many satellites, actually. I'm, I'm mistaken. Look, this is... This is even from, yeah, this is from October and November. They launched a three uh, military satellite already. Iran, third military satellite to orbit. This is September 27. 
So obviously your sanction is working very good. Very, very good, you know. I will not be surprised if they already they have a nuke. Why not? Because, you know, our sanction is working very good. So while your enemy is preparing for real war, your president, he is preparing to put a sign for a transgender on the bathroom. Do you see the difference? They are preparing themselves to attack us, to kill us. And your president and your government are busy. They can't even agree about having a fence in the border. South American cartel is controlling, I mean, their, their, their drugs. I mean, look, they are busy giving you fine for not cutting the grass in the front of your yard. They are busy giving you fine for stupid things. But we have a trucks loaded with guns and weapon and all kind of garbage, all kind of drugs and it goes through. How? Nobody knows. YouTube is busy blocking your comment. This is what the liberals they do. But YouTube, they will not shut down the terrorist account of Hezbollah in YouTube. Even Hamas, they have official website. Let me open the until now it's open. Did you ask yourself how come Biden did not command to close it? Or even Trump? Seriously, do you know why? We own the internet. We own all websites in the world. Even if you buy them. How come we did not close their website? Look at this. Oh, no way. Hamas.com is shut down? No way. I just, I just searched for Hamas.com. It turned to be off. They shut it down. Maybe this is this time. I mean, after 20 years now, they decide to close it. <laughs> Let me see the, the other one. All right. Huh. Look at this. This is in Telegram. I don't have Telegram. Here it says, Harakat Hamas. al mawqa al rasmi li Harakat Hamas. The official uh, address of Hamas. And this is in Telegram. So, as you see, they are welcome everywhere. USA cannot report this, uh, you know, to force uh, a Telegram to shut uh, uh, Hamas uh, account. No, they cannot. They can just, uh, you know, block the account of Trump. You know? If you are Trump, you are president of USA, we mute you. We censor you. Even the president, they censor him. Hamas.com is working, or maybe from my uh, computer does not, I don't know. It's working, let me check again. I tried to open it here, it did not work. 
Oh, it's working. You are right. Look at this. I thought it's closed. It's not. And this is ISIS flag. And remember, they are the liberation of Palestine. I mean, if it if if Biden is serious, if this is stupid government in USA are serious, at least shut down their website, you donkey. At least. Look at this. They have even videos there. And look, they are counting for you the dead. Zionist, Zionist one dead. Look, they are showing you women. Look, look at those. Look, look how filthy they are. Zionist, Jewish killed. Jewish homes burned, 1,300. Zionist civilian murdered, 1,400. Since October 7. <laughs> Zionist. Yeah, Trump, Biden, I don't see much different. I see a bunch of idiot cowards. They made the whole world make mockery of our army. I feel sorry really for those soldiers who they are in the army, who they are beaten, attacked, and they cannot respond. This is those are the one who I feel sorry for them. We are sitting at home here where nothing happened to us. But those poor kids who they are in the army, they are being attacked left and right. And what we do, we will respond. We shall respond. Yeah, right. How we shall respond? Why you did not respond last month and the month before it and the month before it and the month before it and the year before it and 10 years before it? Because it's mm -hmm. their homeland that's going to be attacked if we go to war. And this needs to be done in a coordinated way. It's not just a matter of pushing a button. Would you expect that we see the Secretary of State flying out to the region once again? Well, he's been there plenty. It's time to go back. And it's time to, as we've talked about here today, to rally the troops and figure out how we're going to meet this threat. Because it's not going to go away. 159 attacks. There's no reason why there won't be 159 more attacks. So it's time to get a unified, a unified effort underway to deal with the Iranians and what they pose in the region. What about Tony Blinken's role? Secretary Blinken is respected around the world. Uh, let me tell you what the Blinken is doing. He is a Blinken for now. He Blink, you know? I mean, do you want more threat than a Blinken? He's a Blinken. I mean, look what they are talking about. If the president is a potato, what a blinking? Is it a blinking is the one who made the decision? His name is a blinking. I mean, we have a scary names in the, in the government, you know. Hunter Biden. He is the one who make deals. He is the president. We have Nancy Pelosi. I mean, but just... What about we show the picture of Balusi to the Iranian? They will be scared and they will run away. What if we show them the refrigerator she have? She have a freezer just for chocolate. You see, she was talking about, I don't know if you saw the video. People complain about inflation, the, 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 the heat bill, they cannot pay for it, the gas, you know, everything became expensive. And she have a refrigerator behind her cost twenty sorry two hundred thousand dollars. Those are very special refrigerators just for chocolate. Oh look how much they are suffering. I mean, put yourself in her shoes. She needs to eat chocolate every day. She have a a whole freezer behind her, a very expensive one full of the most expensive they sent her chocolate from around the world anyone remember the the video 
Hm? Wiedersehen. Wherever she go, chocolate have to be in the front of her. Look at this. I mean, they are struggling. Let us. I mean, let us be honest. If there is anyone struggling like those people, I want to find the the the, the interview where she was talking about her chocolate. Hold on, where is the? This is not the one I want. I mean, this woman is weird, though. Look, I searched for, for her chocolate. I found a million video of her with chocolate. What? Nancy but Lucy tasting chocolate? Listen, listen carefully. This is a very hard job. This is not easy. What you will see now is a top secret. I hope Iran will not see it because they will be terrified. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring the video here. Hey, Nancy, what do you have for us today? San Francisco. I'm a chocoholic, an expert, an aficionado Eesh. on good chocolate, a particular fan of Ghirardelli chocolate from San Francisco. Look how serious. Can you do that? Hey, people, can you do that? Nice. Do you see how important those people to be there? Why we need them badly? For the moment, I like... Hold on, you know what? I got an idea. I will publish a video and Nancy Belusi like this, and I will say Nancy Belusi kidnapped by Hezbollah. <laughs> he said he will respond. <laughs> what he will do? He will he will make competition of chocolate. What he will do? We know what he will do. He will send this uh, throw rockets here and there. It's a garbage. Yeah, I know, I know. Not shut down. Don't don't pause their website. All right. Try to be smart and don't post website of your enemies. Hmm? Don't do that. So Nancy Belusi, right now, I bet you she is grabbing her chocolate and she is thinking th seriously how we can respond to killing three of our soldiers. And I think she would eat more chocolate now because she is stressed. You know? I like this better because I like darker chocolate. So mm. I'm, no offense to either brand. Uh huh. I would say this is the Ghirardelli. <laughs> Cheers. Can you believe it, what we are watching? Have there is people, there is babies, are hostages, and Nancy by Lucy is hostages by chocolate. Who can beat that? Well, Trump, he can afford 84 million. And you know what? I don't mind if a Trump, he paid 84 million for his stupid six adventurers. If he behave, if he is a straight man, if he's a good man, he will not be in that position. Why in the world even he is there? He's just an idiot. They go after you when you do mistakes. If you don't have those stupid mistakes, and other I can't even call them mistakes, this is fair. If you don't have your stupidity and your you know low class behavior, well they can't go after you and check those things. So let him pay a hundred million dollar, you know. I hope actually every politician who go out to, with the prostitute to be exposed. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is Nancy Belusi. Who can be that, man? I mean, that's it. 
your salvation is in their hand. Hezbollah cannot attack you no more. After they see this video, <laughs> Hezbollah will be terrified. I mean, what if we launch an attack by a chocolate of Nancy Pelosi on Hezbollah? He's very, very credible. He has very good relationships. So it would make sense to send them out there quickly. Okay. Um, it is also political season, obviously. <laughs> and so this will be an opportunity, I suppose, to be a contrast between President Trump, former President Trump, and President Biden. What about that? What about election year policy? Yeah, yeah. And now Trump, he, say, he will say, if I was the president... I will respond, a massive response, but we saw you when you were there, you did nothing. When Trump, he was there, he did nothing. Totally nothing. The Iranian, they did the same, same attack. No sound? Uh, uh, why no sound? I'm not sure why. Sound is gone. Well, I know from my side it sounds fine, but look like you guys lost sound, you are saying. Not sure. What happened? We lost connection. Do you hear me, guys? Am I heard? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why you guys, you said you lost uh, sound. Yeah, now Trump, he will go in TV and he will brag about if he was the president, he will do this and that. But remember, the Iranian, they attack us the same exact attack in Iraq and they injured the exact same number and Trump he did nothing he they took down a drone Trump he did nothing they attack our ship in the Red Sea the in the in the uh, Persian Sea he did nothing Trump he is the same as Biden so now he's in, not in the office Trump he will brag about if he was the president this is will never happen but go check in the four years of a Trump, how many times the Iranian they attack our American bases and Trump he did nothing. He did only attack one person. He killed him. That is Qasim Soleimani, which is nobody. Is nobody. You killed him, they hired ten instead of him. Who care? He did not destroy their warehouses, he did not destroy their missiles, he did not destroy anything. Which one is more important? So I say. Americans are doomed because they don't have a leadership. They don't have a government. They don't have a president. They have a bunch of people doing business. All what they care about is how to make money, stay in election, get a bribe, and be on TV. And now those guys they are talking about launching war. Let us see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But tomorrow will come and you will see. He will go and he will attack a bunch of small bases here and there. And he will claim that he responded. And those respond, actually, they will tickle Hezbollah more to attack more. Because now they will notice we killed their soldiers. And still it is the same they don't care and they don't attack us back so let us see tomorrow will come and i will i will i will come back to you and you know let us hope that the christian prince is wrong and biden he will do what he should do as a president but i believe he will not Well, all of them are the same. My friend Trump or Biden is the same. When it comes to Iran, all those are potatoes. You see, do you remember the guy who was uh, the, uh, the the consultant of Trump? What his name? Anyone remember? And Trump, he fired him. The guy with the mustache, I forgot his name. 
That guy, he advised Trump many times to attack Iran. The potato Trump, he'd refuse. He wanted to win the election, that's all. In fact, if he attack Iran, nobody can take the election from him. He is just a stupid idiot. He thought if he did not go to war, he would be the only president who did not go to war, which is false. So that guy he advised him. I mean, they are attacking us, attacking us, you know, retain your re reputation as the president. Trump, instead of following what this guy he said, he fired him. He threw him out. John Bolton, yes, John Bolton. Exactly. The guy was giving him a good advice to show those people their size. If, if Trump, he did at that time, Irina will not dare to attack again. Now, I don't agree with this guy in everything, but when it's come to Iran, he was right. And yet, the stupid Trump, he got rid of him. If you notice, one of the failure of Trump when he was a president, he fired people every few days. Sometimes he hired them for one day. Second day, he fired them, like Muhammad. He make a verse in the morning. He abrogated the verse afternoon. Very confused person. He did not know what to do. He did not know who to hire. And when somebody gave him good advice, he dumped him. How many uh, foreign minister Trump he have? Just go check. Four? Almost he have one every year or maybe five. And same goes for everything else. He keep changing ministers, he keep changing officials. And the only one who stay is Ivanka Trump and Kushnar because they are useless. They just make business deal behind the scene with Qatar, with oil companies, bribes those are the one who stay you see they are speaking about hunter biden and he is you know well we know what ivanka and kushner is about qatar they rented the the building of kushner for one billion dollar for the coming 99 years if there's anyone here when i rent my house for the coming 99 years and pay me rent have you ever heard of somebody paying rent for the coming 99 years Yeah, this is other stupid thing. You know, they just give Turkey a massive number of air, air, airplanes. I think 80, imagine 80. Obviously, Turkey is preparing themselves to invade Greece. And they give few airplanes for Greece just to make it look like we are not making Turkey ready to invade you. My friend, I say to you that those who they are in charge are the most evil ever you can imagine. And the only one I am sorry for them is the soldiers, soldiers, the American soldiers and their families. We send them to war, but they cannot do what should do at war. I remember when the Marines, they enter into Fallujah and one of the Marines was shooting the coward of ISIS, who they burn American civilian alive. They took this poor guy to court. And they want to jail him for 10 years. Why? He was killing ISIS. But isn't this what you send him for? Oh no, they were injured. Really? The other guy, they put him in jail because he pissed on them. I mean, do you see how silly, how stupid? Those soldiers, they go, they risk their life. Many of them, they die in the battle and they go through hell. And now, because he, he, this guy, I mean, he is frustrated. Finally, we killed him. And now we want to put him in jail for a few years. For what? For killing them? Will we send them there to kill them? So the only one really I feel sorry for is those soldiers.
Nobody care for your children. Neither Trump, neither Biden. Trust me, nobody care. You know, when Trump, he sent your kids in January 6th to the Congress. Hmm? A week after he was playing golf. And many of your kids, they were in jail and they are going to be present for 20 years. Trump even didn't talk about them. He forgot about it. He washed his hand from them. He said, I have nothing to do with them. But he is the one who sent them. So we have a disease. People are blind. They just support the man. It doesn't matter how ugly he is, how good he is, how bad it is. He support the man. So let us make it clear. Biden, Trump, all are the same garbage. The difference is that Trump, at least, he have little brain. At least in economy. At least he makes sense when he speak. At least he have a logic when he talk. At least. Biden, he have nothing. Biden don't remember his name. I'm sure, you know, I think Biden is the guy who they told me about, you know. There's a guy, his name is Joe Biden. He is heavy sleeper, even when he's awake. In the middle of the night, he went to piss. When he came back home, I'm going back to his bed, he said to his wife, he remember something, he said, honey, when we open the door of the bathroom, do the light come by itself? His wife, the wife of Joe Biden, she said, no, honey, this is the refrigerator. And this is what our American president, they do one after one. They piss in your refrigerator. So, if I'm going to vote, I have no choice but to vote for Trump. But not because he is so good. No, 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 he's not. He is the same. He piss in your refrigerator. But he have, he have more sense. I mean, common sense. Like, close the border. Fix the economy. Let us use our gas and our oil. Common sense. You do not need to be genius. The other side are mentally ill. The other side is busy with the chocolate and homosexuality and transgender and putting the flag of the, trans, the, 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 the LGBT, LGBT community on the White House. This is what they are busy with. Our enemy is preparing for invasion to attack us, to kill our kids, and they are killing our kids already. And what we are busy with, with all the stupid things you can imagine. So we will vote for Trump, but not because he is the best, but because he is the only choice. Otherwise, he was there for four years and he did nothing with Iran. In fact, he is the one who protected Qatar. What we can do? It is what it is garbage in garbage out well today we don't have many people here look like sunday people are busy so i'm going to say enjoy your sunday and let us hope that biden he will receive an advice that you know what if you respond in a massive way that will fix your reputation from being potato to be called eagle lion in fact if biden is a smart this is his great opportunity to increase his publicity which is going down to zero almost if he attack iran in a massive way to the point he teach them how to be here for the coming century every american will respect him but with this idiot do so I don't think so. So I want to say thank you for today for joining us. And Ante will see you tomorrow. We pray for the soul of those poor soldiers who died. And we pray that we will be able to punish those who killed them and make them pay a very heavy price for the crime they did. We pray for that. I mean, thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.